let's take a look at what types of files we want to use for storing, editing, displaying, and printing digital images. We'll start with raw files. Raw as in uncooked. The development of raw technology in digital photography has been the most significant advancement in photography since the introduction of digital photography. Raw files are files that contain all of the data the camera sensor has captured. Raw files are not viewable without some processing. The images in the viewfinder have been processed to a manufacturer's standard. The file extensions are identifiable by camera manufacturer. For example, CR2 is Canon Camera Raw 2. Raw files, adjusted or not, must be saved as another file format for screen or print use. When we make adjustments in ACR, Adobe Camera Raw, we are using the real data captured by the camera sensor. This is a big deal. Let's say, for example, that we set the ISO appropriately for the conditions and we set the f-stop correctly, correctly as well, but somehow we had the shutter speed too fast. Not enough light for a correctly exposed image. This is where the magic of RAW comes in. We can adjust improperly exposed images up or down using the actual captured data to make a usable, presentable picture with a slider. Not, not, no more complicated than that, just a slider. You can adjust the exposure. ACR en enables users to improve images that come out of the camera already looking good. The reason RAW files and ACR are so important is because they enable users to improve images that come out of the camera not looking good. Photoshop users who have spent hours making contrast and brightness adjustments over the years will have stories about their jaw-dropping reaction to the addition, addition of a dehaze slider. Hours and hours of work with sometimes usable results compared to a quick slider adjustment and voila, dehazed. Time is money and raw photography can mean the difference between a quick edit and even if it's possible, having to reshoot the images. PSD, or Photoshop document files, this is where the magic happens. Many images can meet or exceed requirements with adjustments in ACR, Adobe Camera Raw, accessible in Bridge or Lightroom. But if the image needs pixels added or pixels removed, layers, text, vectors, textures, patterns, filters, masks, notations, transparency, or scores of other manipulations, the work gets done in a PSD file. When you are finished working on the image, save it as a PSD, and then save it with size and resolution adjustments to a file type appropriate for archive, screen use, and print use. PSB, or Photoshop Big Files, are a large document format. PSD files are limited to 2 gigabytes. TIFF files are limited to 4 gigabytes. PSB, Photoshop Big Documents, support up to 300,000 pixels in any dimension. PSB supports most of the functionality of PSD files when they exceed 2 gigabytes. Save your work. This might take a while. JPG files were developed by Joint Photographic Experts Group, commonly pronounced JPEG. This is the most commonly shared type of image file. These files are compressed, and although the compression generally does not affect image quality, every compression causes some loss of data. RAW files, or PSD files for example, tend to be comparatively large. JPEGs work in most software environments. JPEG files do not support layers and do not support transparency. Common file type though for screen use. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics, pronounced PING. PING files support 24-bit RGB and 32-bit RGBA. PING files support transparency and an alpha channel. The PING image on this page is a square image with a transparent area around the circle. PNGs are commonly used for screens. GIF, sometimes pronounced GIF files or GIF files. It stands, the, the initials are for graphic interchange format. So there's your G. 
This is a vintage file format developed by CompuServe in 1987. It's limited to 8 bits in 256 colors, but quick, easy animations that work in every environment. Yes, there were computers in 1987. TIFF files, tagged image file format. TIFF files can be saved lossless with no data loss due to compression and are widely used for storing high resolution images. But because TIFF files are often quite large, they are not often used for sharing, except perhaps with the folks who make your prints. TIFF files do support layers and transparency. Ping files tend to be smaller and compatible with more applications if you need transparency. A common workflow includes finished editing with a PSD, save PSD, and save PSD to TIFF for delivery to the print house. DNG, digital negatives. A film negative looks the same to an enlarger no matter what camera exposed the film. Digital raw files are not all the same. Each camera manufacturer has a unique profile and file extension. A DNG, or digital negative file, is a container of sorts. RAW files for most cameras can be converted to archival DNG files and made readable by software that might not be readable in original format. A RAW file from your new camera might not be readable by your old software, but if your software can read DNG, it can read whatever is in the DNG file. There's a lot to say about DNG files. That's another video. PDF files, portable document format. We've all seen and used these, right? A user's manual, directions, a brochure, info.pdf. Download the free Adobe Acrobat Reader here. Everyone can read PDF files and that's the point. With the free Adobe Acrobat Reader, if someone cannot read your images as TIFF, TIFF files or some other file format, they can view them as PDF. See you next time.